Welcome to Land House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. If you're looking to get a ram pump, it's important to determine what size you can use. So there are a few factors to consider. Number one is the source flow rate. Each ram pump requires a different amount of water to operate, and so you have to determine the amount of water in your source in order to run each size pump. So over here I'll have the flow rates required. The half inch pump needs two gallons per minute. The three quarter inch pump needs four gallons per minute. The one inch pump needs six gallons per minute and the inch and a quarter needs eight gallons per minute to operate. Now, of course, if you've got eight gallons per minute or more in your creek, you can run any of the four sizes just fine. The next thing to consider is the amount of water that will be pumped in a day or how much water you need. So this is a little bit tricky because the ratios of input head pressure to lift will also determine how much water you get, but bigger pumps can deliver more water. So for instance, this is a one inch pump and it can deliver up to a thousand gallons a day with the right ratio of input head pressure to lift out. So the higher you go with your delivery pipe, the less water you have, and it may not be a thousand gallons a day. But over here, I will have the list. So the half inch pump can deliver up to 300 gallons in a day. The three quarter inch pump can do 600 gallons. The one inch pump can do a thousand and the inch and a quarter can do 1400 gallons in a day. And of course that is based on an ideal installation. Thing number three to consider is the ease of install. The inch and a quarter pump, the big one, can be the most difficult to install because in order for this to operate, you have to have all of the air out of the drive pipe. Sometimes if you're installing a pump this big on relatively flat water, it can be quite a chore to get all the air bubbles or pockets out of the drive pipe. So if you're gonna be installing a ram pump on a somewhat smooth or flat water that has minimum of three feet of head pressure, then I recommend going with a smaller pump because it's much easier to get that air out of the pipe. Another thing to consider is the price tag. Smaller ram pumps are less expensive, bigger ram pumps are more expensive. So that may be a determining factor as well in your purchase or install of a ram pump. One more thing to consider when selecting the ram pump that's right for you is the amount of sound that these things will make. The half inch ram pump is rather quiet. When you're 15, 20 feet away, you can barely hear it. The waste valve closing is not very loud and the pressure wave sound running back and forth in the drive pipe is also not very loud. However, if you move up to a one inch or inch and a quarter ram pump like this one, the sound of the waste valve closing will be uh, much more noticeable and the sound of the pressure wave slamming back and forth in the drive pipe will also be a bit louder. So keep that in mind as well. If you want to purchase a ram pump, I will have links to these in the description down below, Amazon, eBay, and the Landa House website as well. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video.